Hi, in this video we are going to see about facts of HP Office Z5200 all-in-one series printer. You can use the printer to send and receive faxes including color faxes. You can schedule a fax to be sent at a later time and set up phone book contact to send faxes quickly and easily to frequently use numbers. And there are various ways you can send and receive faxes. So in this video, we will cover these topics as you can see on the screen. So let's start one by one. So first one is send a fax. So in this topic, it will cover all these. As you can see, you can send a fax in a variety of ways depending on your situation or need. Send a standard fax. You can send a standard fax from the computer. Send a fax from your phone. Send a fax using the monitor dialing. Send a fax using the printer memory. Send a fax to multiple recipient. Send a fax in a error correction mode. Now let's move to the next topic of this video which is receive a fax. You can receive faxes automatically or manually. If you turn off the auto answer option, you must receive the faxes manually. For more detail, you can refer the screen as you can see in detail. It is described here. An important note is available. You can read the screen. And uh, in receive a faxes, you, you can receive a fax manually. Set a backup fax. Reprint received faxes from memory. Forward faxes to another number. Set automatic reduction for incoming faxes. Block unwanted fax numbers. Now let's see set up phone book contacts. You can set up frequently used fax numbers as phone book contacts. This lets you quickly dial those numbers using the printer control panel. So you can create and edit a phone book contacts, create and edit a group phone book contact, delete phone book contact. Here is important tip is available on the screen. You can read it for more detail. Now we will discuss about change fax settings. After completing the steps in the getting started guide that come with the printer, use the following steps to change the initial setting or to configure the other option for faxing. So in fax settings, you can you can do these steps as you can see on the screen. Configure the fax header, set up the answer mode, auto answer, set the number of rings before answering, change and answer ring pattern for distinctive ring, set the dial type, set the redial options, set the fax speed, set the fax sound volume. Now let's see about the fax and digital phone services. Many telephone companies provide the customers with digital phone services such as following. You can read the screen details for more information about the fax and digital phone services as you can see. Now let's move to the next uh, part which is fax on voice over internet protocol. You might be able to subscribe to a low cost phone service that allow you to send and receive faxes with your printer by using the internet. This method is called fax on voice over internet protocol which is also known as VOIP. So the following are indicators that you can probably use a VOIP service. So you can read the screen contents for more information ab about fax on voice over internet protocol. Now let's see about the next topic of this video which is use reports. So you can set up the printer to voice error reports and confirmation reports automatically for each fax you send and receive. You can also manually print system reports as required. These reports provide useful system information about the printer. For more details and important note, which is available on the screen, you can read it for more details. Now let's see last topic of this video, which is additional fax setup. After completing all these steps in the getting started guide, use the instructions in this section to complete your fax setup. Keep your getting started guide for later use. So in this section, you will learn these, which is setup faxing, parallel phone systems and test fax setup. For more detail, you can refer this screen contents.
that's all in this video thank you for watching if you want any help related to your printer just click on the link which is available in this video description for any support